another Disney Plus show, another new suit. And these aren't tweaks we're talking about here. These are dramatically different suits, upgrades for both characters in terms of not just their looks, but they represent heightened roles in the MCU. So it's all very exciting. Now, I will say that I was surprised that Sam Wilson's Captain America costume is so comics accurate, especially since I don't believe that this particular look has ever had a lot of fans. I mean, it's not like Wanda's classic costume, which we have been asking for since the character was first introduced. However, I must admit that even though I was never a fan of this look on Sam, it was thrilling to see it brought to life on Disney+, Plus because it's because it's so comics accurate. It's similar to the thrill of seeing Wanda's costume materialize. I mean, it really feels like these characters are coming off the page. And even with a costume I wasn't particularly fond of, it still gives you that thrill of the comics that you read and it had only imagined being made real. It's so great. Uh, but now that we've had that sensation, I think we can make some tweaks to this costume. So yes, Sam Wilson's new costume was a gift, which means he was not there for a fitting. It's tough to get someone a gift, right? Uh, and I doubt that when Shuri sees him on the news, she'll feel his work is done. I mean, one look at those goggles, goggles in the field and she'll be like, fly back to Wakanda, we have some work to do. I mean, her reputation is at stake. Uh, it doesn't seem like it was designed by Shuri at all, quite frankly. She must have been, like, not at home, and she, some of people on her team had to take care of it. I don't think she ever would have approved this look. Maybe she, you know what, maybe she was respectful to the history of Captain America. And now that Sam has had a chance to see what that looks like on, and maybe flew by a mirror, he'll let Shuri, you know, make it cooler. So I, I do have to say though that Wakanda has already made some big changes technologically speaking, which were very fun to see in the episode. Vibranium wings. They're leaner. They're meaner. They're stronger. They fold up better. They have more agility. So the vibranium wings are better in every regard. Same power source as the Wakandan ships, as you guys pointed out. That's where the blue glow comes from, which was very, which is a very cool idea. Shield launch capability, because it's on his back. It's hard for him to reach back there when he has his wings uh, expanded. I thought that was a very cool idea. I don't know if it was, was that in the comics. I didn't read a lot of Sam Wilson Captain America comics. Again, they weren't. They were nowhere near the quality of this show. If they had been as good as this show, I think they would have worked out a lot better. Red Wing upgrades. And also, Falcon still has Stark-level tech in his visor, but I'm sure Wakanda upgraded that as well. So technologically speaking, with Wakanda updating Stark tech, Sam Wilson's new suit is perfect. So what needs to be corrected? The aesthetics of the suit. Now, one of you, I talked a little bit about this in my in my breakdown, and one of you tweeted me this fan art, which is very nice. I like this quite a bit. This is excellent. I think it's much better with the darker blue and red, less white material, brown leather detailing, that looks good on everyone, and a more militaristic, practical look. Sam's current suit actually has the same costume quality that Steve's first suit had. So in that regard, it's also a very fitting first suit for Sam. But one problem with this fan art, though, I just want to point this out, is that Anthony Mackie will never look exactly like that because he doesn't have that kind of leaner swimmer's build that Chris Evans had even when he was at his bulkiest. Anthony Mackie has a, a, a thicker, uh, more, you know, a thicker athletic build, and so he's just not going to look like that. But I think he'd look close to that, and I think that, con that fan art is a very good starting point. Now, why do I think this looks better? The cargo pants, I think, are a very good choice. I think they would look much better, particularly on Anthony Mackie's bigger build, than the kind of sweatpants look of this current costume. I'm sorry, it looks like sweatpants. Uh, and I like having a lot less white on the suit. White is actually not a very flattering color for clothing, as it makes a person look much wider. And since An Anthony Mackie, again, already has a bigger build, the white suit in particular makes him look a lot wider. So it's not a good choice for him in particular. Removing the white shoulder pads, good idea. Why did they even give him shoulder pads? They're so clearly shoulder pads too. They're not even like fake muscles built into the suit. You're like, dude, you have shoulder pads and on the outside, no less. 
<clears throat> I would think the front arm patch is being removed is a good idea. I think the headpiece, sorry, I know the headpiece is from the comics and it was very cool to see it, but we've seen it. I think it can go. Uh, some of you even pointed out that it looks like he has trouble turning his head in live action and I felt the same way. So all those things I would get rid of, but I wouldn't get rid of white totally. I think it makes the suit uniquely Sam's and I think it looks very cool against his darker skin tone. Also, Sam is such an optimistic, hopeful person. I like that being reflected in his suit with the white detailing. Uh, he looks like an angel in, the, in this last episode, as some of you said, and I agree. He is it. He is angelic. He's an angel crossed with an eagle, which is perfect for Captain America. So just like S Steve's suit evolved quite quickly, as a matter of fact, I'm sure Sam's will as well. But this was a very cool debut. It was just so wonderfully faithful to the comics, and also, I think, to the evolution of Steve's suit. So I like that, that both those elements for this first suit. I don't think we should ever see it again. I think it should be upgraded immediately for the next uh, time that he shows up. But I, again, really liked seeing it. Um, and bottom line, I think what really matters here is Anthony Mackie and the VFX team in selling Sam Wilson as Captain America, and the writing team, the writing team, whew. I think that uh, Falcon Winter Soldier's strongest uh, awards chances actually are for writing. I think they have a, some they have some awards clips they can send around that are amazing. I mean, Sam Wilson's speech in episode six alone has awards nominations and hopefully wins written all over it. But I think that Anthony Mackie's performance as the character with his heart and determination is really fantastic. Again, the counselor angle for Captain America is really fantastic. And then also the VFX team delivered incredible maneuvers in the air and even on land. He found his way to use his wings uh, in every situation and it was really a joy to watch. The, I think that the character was static on the page so it didn't really work out as well, but much like I came to love Captain America's shield in uh, live action, I've really come to love uh, new Captain America's uh, uh, wings. I think they're great. So what do you think of Sam's Captain America suit? What do you like and what would you change? And how did you feel when you first saw it? Share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.